viewers welcome to our new video in this video we will going to cover human ear mcq so let's start the video what is the primary function of the outer ear sound amplification sound transmission balance control hearing protection so the correct answer is option a the primary function of the outer ear is sound amplification what is the smallest bone in the human body located in the middle ear? Steps, incus, malus, cochlea. So the correct answer is option A. Steps is the smallest bone in the human body located in the middle ear. The auditory nerve carries signal from the ear to which part of the brain? Cerebellum, medulla oblongata, telemus. Temporal lobe. So the correct answer is option B. The auditory nerve carries signal from the ear to temporal lobe of the brain. The membrane that separates the middle ear from the inner ear is called tympanic membrane, oval window, round window, basilar membrane. So the correct answer is option B. The membrane that separates the middle ear from the inner ear is called oval window. The structure that separates the external ear from the middle ear is the tympanic membrane, oval window, auditory canal, round window. So the correct answer is option A. The structure that separates the external ear from the middle ear is the tympanic membrane. Which structure in the ear is responsible for converting sound waves into electrical signals? Tympanic membrane, cochlea, auditory canal, ossicles. So the correct answer is option B. Cochlea in the ear is responsible for converting sound waves into electrical signals. The smallest bones in the human body, known as the auditory ossicles, connect the eardrum to which part of the ear? Cochlea, semicircular canals, vestibule, tympanic cavity. So the correct answer is option D. The smallest bones in the human body known as the auditory ossicles connect the eardrum to tympanic cavity of the ear. What is the primary function of airwaves in the ear canal? Sound amplification, lubrication, protect against infections, equalizing pressure. So the correct answer is option C. The primary function of airwaves in the ear canal is protection against infections. Which structure in the ear is responsible for detecting high frequency sounds? Cochlea, semicircular canals, ossicles, vestibule. So the correct answer is option A. Cochlea structure in the ear is responsible for detecting high frequency sounds. Which small bone in the middle ear is shaped like a hammer and connects with the tympanic membrane? Steps, incus, malus, vestibule. So the correct answer is option C. Malus in the middle ear is shaped like a hammer and connects with the tympanic membrane. What is the role of the round window in the inner ear? Transmitting sound vibrations, equalizing pressure, detecting change in head position, amplifying sound waves. So the correct answer is option B. The role of the round window in the inner ear is equalizing pressure. Which frequency range is typically associated with human hearing? 5 to 20 hertz, 20 to 20,000 hertz, 20,000 to 50,000 hertz, 50 to 100 hertz. So the correct answer is option B. 20 to 20,000 hertz frequency range is typically associated with human hearing. Which of the following is a function of the stretching tube? Equalizing pressure in the middle ear, amplifying sound waves, detecting low frequency sounds, transmitting signals to the brain. 
So the correct answer is option A. The function of the stretchin tube is equalizing pressure in the middle ear. What is the purpose of the tympanic membrane ear drum? Balancing fluid levels in the ear, transmitting sound vibrations to the inner ear, protecting the ear from foreign objects, equalizing pressure in the middle ear. So the correct answer is option B. The purpose of the tympanic membrane is transmitting sound vibrations to the inner ear. In the process of sound transmission, what is the correct order of the three ossicles from the eardrum to the oval window? Incus steps melis, melis incus steps, steps melis incus, incus melis steps. So the correct answer is option B. Melis incus steps. Which part of the ear is responsible for maintaining balance and spatial orientation? Cochlea, vestibule, tympanic membrane, stretching tube. So the correct answer is option B. Vestibule part of the ear is responsible for maintaining balance and spatial orientation. Which structure in the inner ear is responsible for maintaining fluid balance and pressure regulation? Semicircular canals, cochlea, vestibule, oval window. So the correct answer is option A. Semicircular canals in the inner ear is responsible for maintaining fluid balance and pressure regulation. The fluid filled tube that connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx and helps regulate air pressure is called auditory canal, tympanic membrane, stretching tube, cochlear duct. So the correct answer is option C. The fluid filled tube that connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx and helps regulate air pressure is called stretching tube. Which cranial nerve supplies the ear and is stimulated by vibration caused by sound waves? Cranial nerve 1, cranial, cranial nerve 5, cranial nerve 8, cranial nerve 5. So the correct answer is option C, cranial nerve 8. What is the term for the ability of the ear to distinguish between different frequencies of sound? Pitch discrimination, sound localization, auditory acuity, decibel perception. So the correct answer is option A, pitch discrimination. Thanks for watching. Subscribe School of MCQ for latest informative MCQ.